Hey guys, this is Ron from the Ride Share Culture. Thank you for watching uh, today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, today is uh, December 30th. Uh, we have two more days. No, we got one more day till New Year's. Um, and Happy New Year's. And then also, Happy Holidays to those who celebrate the holidays. Anyway, getting it out the way, I do want to talk about something that... Uh, that deals with rideshare and has been happening lately. Let me get this straight. And um, it is an issue. There has been a scam going around with Uber drivers specifically. I haven't heard anything from Lyft, but I've heard it from Uber drivers. And Uber needs to literally, literally look at this. So here's what I've learned is that the scam is this. As an Uber driver, you would get a request from a passenger and the name of that passenger would be called Generated, okay? It would be called Generated. That's the name of the passenger. And what would happen is you would be driving to the pickup location and that Generated passenger will call you and say, hey, we're from Uber Support. We have generated this ride so you can so you can get a bonus from Uber. And what the drivers would do is they would listen in and listen to what that person needs to say. Then the scam artist would say, or the, pa or the fake passenger would say, well, we need you to cancel the ride, give us your phone number, and we will call you from the Uber support line. And what they'll do is, when you give them your phone number, they'll call you from their phone number or whatever it is, whatever phone they're calling from, and they would explain to you how to receive the bonus. So the way they scam you is, they want you to cancel the ride, so you don't even get a cancellation fee because you never went to the spot. That's one. Number two is, you gave them your phone number uh, because you believe it's Uber support. Number three is, they call you from their line from wherever they're calling from so what happens is the way they get the bonus or the fake bonus is that they would ask you to go to your instant pay portion of the app and enter a debit card number or credit card number that they will provide to you so you can receive this bonus and when you put the information in that in your phone what happens is is that what happens is is that they want you to click cash out because they're saying that the app when you cash out would allow them to deposit the money into your uber account you just cashed out your earnings to that number that they provided to you they hang up you can't call them back because the line is closed that's the scam I really thought people would literally not go for it. I thought it would be people, I thought people would literally understand that that makes no sense. That Uber support will call you through, an, through a ride, but, I, but, I, but I'm wrong. I'm actually wrong, and here's my opinion. People actually done it. They actually went through with it. There are people on YouTube and Instagram that has fall for the scam and I'm here to say this, guys, you know what? It's common sense now. It's not even, it, 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 Uber kind of takes fault in this as well because they, they need to provide more bold emails. Because let me tell you something, in my opinion, the percentage of drivers in, in my area, where I'm in in South Florida, are over the age of 45. In my opinion, I could be wrong, I don't have accurate numbers because I don't I don't work for Uber and there's no report that says oh this group is there. I think it's over 45 I'll show you something right now I'm at Fort Lauderdale International Airport all of these people here that I see I don't know if you can't really see them because I'm moving the camera too fast all those cars and all that most people are over the age in my opinion they look over 45 so needless to say they're not going to read the terms and conditions they're going to go click accept and continue on and they're going to complain about stuff later. A few of them, not all of them. <sighs> Guys, if you're watching this video, and 
Uh, hopefully this is a warning. Uber will never ever request a ride on its app to give you a bonus. They would never say that Uber, first of all, Uber support would never call you through a ride. It's one. So just think about that. Even if you're not techie, even if you're not, what's the word? Ah, iPhone, isk Android, phone worthy. If you don't understand the phone, understand. Got it. But let's think about this for a second. If you get a ride and the name is generated, first of all, why would a name, a person named name generate it? That should be like a red flag in a way already. Like a little thing like it's kind of weird why this person has a name. Not saying that there are weird names. There are people that actually have weird names that we see on this app. And that's just their name. They literally have the, that name. I picked up somebody's name, Vaughn something, but it was like Vaughn Donkey. Weird name. They do. And then also, if they're going to call you and say this is Uber support, Uber support will never, ever call you through the app. They will call you through the number that's specified for Uber support. You should save that number. And I will find that number and I'll put it in the description below. And fourth, fifth, sixth of all, Uber will never give a bonus to you through a ride. And they would never tell you to cancel a ride. Because now you cancel a ride. What happens to your... Um, your, your your acceptance rating it drops you know and, and that makes no sense why uber would do that and 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 again people have fell for it and the reason why that this scam is working is because people are in desperate need of money so when money comes about people start to do things that make no sense people steal people do things to get money from that and people scam people out of money. They know how the Uber drivers are, right? They know most Uber drivers are not happy with Uber, but yet they still drive for Uber, and they know that they need that money, and they love it. They, they love the fact that when Uber says, I have a bonus for you, they get very excited. And that's how these scam artists could win. So for those out there, I'm sorry if I've offended to anybody, but guys, come on. Let's, let's really think about it. Uber won't do that. And here's the thing with Uber. Uber, if you're watching this video or somebody's watching this video, put an email out there. Because I haven't gotten an email that said there's a scam like this going out there. Lyft has put an email out there. I got an email from Lyft last week saying about this scam. Lyft, I haven't heard anything about Lyft having a scam issue. But Lyft themselves sent an email about how you should not, um, how you don't get scammed and uh, how the support line works. Obviously, Lyft heard about Uber's situation, and then they're trying to protect their drivers in a way. Kudos to Lyft for literally doing that. With that being said, guys, this is Ron from the Rideshare Culture. Again, guys, I want you guys to be protected. In this culture of Rideshare, there's going to be a lot of scams and a lot of people coming up saying you can make more money with this, but there's, but there's no substance to it. And always look at your terms of conditions. That's your best friend. It's in there. And you can make a lot of money by reading the terms and conditions. Alrighty, guys. I'm going on nine minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great one. And I will see you later. Peace.